Hey everyone, it's me, Matt. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great and had another wonderful week. So I'm gonna jump right into it. We've got a massive hurricane headed toward Florida. And although I'm not in the direct path of the storm, we're still expecting some impacts in my area. So I figured I'd prep my garden for a hurricane and take you along with me while I did it. So let's get into it. So just a real quick level set, here's the 10 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center for today, Wednesday, September 25th. You can see the hurricane is headed toward the Big Bend area of Florida. It's expected to be a major Category 3 hurricane with winds of 120 miles per hour with higher gusts. You can see the hurricane warning area shaded in red and then the tropical storm warning area in blue encompassing the entire Florida peninsula. The current tropical storm force winds extend about 200 miles from the center. You can see the wind field is shown in orange toward the bottom of the screen. So this wind field is expected to explode in size as the hurricane intensifies over the next day or so. I heard on the news that they think it'll be 600 miles or more across as it passes the Florida Peninsula to the west. The vast majority of the winds in the wind field are tropical storm force with only the most intense hurricane force winds clustered around the center of the storm. My area is a few hundred miles east of the projected path, but they're saying that we could get gusts between 50 and 60 miles per hour as well as isolated tornadoes. So here in Orlando, our biggest threat is wind damage from hurricanes. Here's some pictures of the wind damage from Hurricane Irma in my neighborhood in downtown Orlando in September of 2017. During that storm, the highest wind gusts in my area were between 70 and 80 miles per hour. The storm passed just to the west of Orlando. You can see how much damage it caused in my area. There was a ton of tree damage all over my neighborhood. A lot of the large oak trees fell during that storm. A lot of the trees took down the power lines when they fell, causing power outages throughout the city. I was actually without power for about six days. It was awful. I had no TV, no internet, or air conditioning for about a week. Luckily for me, Irma didn't cause any damage to my house, which I was so thankful for. Some houses in my neighborhood weren't so lucky, though. Some of them had large trees fall into them. The only real damage I had on my property was from tree and leaf debris. You can see my front and backyards were an absolute mess. I remember the city of Orlando said the amount of tree debris that fell that night was equivalent to five years of normal yard waste. Here's a picture of my huge pile of tree debris out on the street. The cleanup took me the better part of two days. Also, check out how different my front garden was. It's really come a long way since 2017. So I did want to add that Irma passed much closer to my area than this current storm is supposed to, so I'm not expecting Irma-level damage, but I figured it's better to be safe than sorry, so I'm going to prepare my garden for the worst and hope for the best. So jumping into garden prep for this storm, we're going to start here at my front porch where I'm going to move all my plants into my carport area, and then I'm going to move my rocking chairs and tables inside my house. So let's get to it. All right, this area is all done. Everything's been cleared off my porch. You also saw I moved my bird bath inside too. All my plants are secured under my carport. Big or small, my front porch is ready for whatever is headed my way. 
So moving to my back patio area next, I'm going to move my smaller container plants to my carport area too. Then I'm going to collapse the legs on my two lounge chairs and lay them up against my house behind my banana grove. Next, I'm going to move my three plumeria trees up against my house in the corner to the left of my banana grove. And then lastly, I'm going to move my table and chairs as well as my larger patio containers up against the retaining wall toward the back of my patio. There we go, everything's all prepped and ready. I also pulled my tiki torches and put them over in the corner near my plumeria trees. All my smaller container plants have been moved to my carport. The only things I left are the larger containers and my table and chairs and umbrella pushed all the way to the back of the patio up against the retaining wall. I also went ahead and left my barbecue grill here up against my house. It should be fine in this space nestled against the house and retaining wall. The winds are supposed to blow from the southwest, pushing my grill toward my house, so I don't think it has any chance of blowing over. So now that my front porch and back patio are all set for the storm, the last thing I need to do is move my Adirondack chairs from my front and backyards into my side yard. All done, my Adirondack chairs are all set. The ones from my front yard fold, which is really nice. It makes it really easy to lay them on the ground here next to my house. And then the ones from my back fire pit area don't fold, so I just line them up against the house. This side yard is on the east side of my house, so these chairs should be protected from the strongest wind gusts. And then lastly, I pulled the tiki torches from around my fire pit area and put them with the others behind my plumeria trees. So I'm all set for whatever's headed my way. Big or small, weak or strong, my garden is prepped. Again, I'd rather be safe than sorry. It definitely sounds like the worst of it will be well to my west. I hope everyone who's in the projected path of this storm had time to prepare and evacuate their homes if needed. I'm definitely thinking of everyone who's in the direct path. Remember, your house and possessions can be replaced, but your life cannot. So I hope everyone made it to a safe space ahead of this storm. For me here in Orlando, I'm not expecting crazy damage like I saw during Hurricane Irma, but I'm ready for whatever Mother Nature throws my way. So I hope you found this video interesting, maybe even educational. You now have a better understanding of how I prep my garden for a hurricane. Remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you can hang out with me in future videos. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.